Young Math Padawans. It's Mrs. Angel with your lesson for today on segments in the coordinate plane. So in this lesson, we're going to be going through some of those Desmos screens that you have currently in front of you. So I would recommend having this video lesson on one window or one device, and then on another de device or window, preferably on a computer, going through the Desmos along with me. So make sure you're ready with your Desmos, and you might also want some notes on the side to follow along with some calculations. And let's get started. So as you recall from exploration one in the Desmos, it was actually pretty easy to determine the length of this segment and all of its parts because it's a horizontal line and all you had to do was count the number of units. So the distance from L to U in this case was one to three units and the distance from U to V was seven units, which means the entire distance was 10 units in this case. Same can be said for number two. When we're counting one, two, three, the distance from L to U, three units, the distance from U to V, seven units, meaning the entire distance again was 10 units. So when you have horizontal and vertical lines, all you have to do is count the number of units. But then we encountered exploration number three. And this is where you hopefully, or I should say probably, ran into a problem because you can't count a unit on a diagonal. A unit is defined as one square unit, and a square is one by one. But this diagonal length is not one unit. It actually has to be larger than one unit. And that's something that we're going to learn later on in geometry. This has a length of the square root of two. Again, we'll learn that later on, or you could use what we learned today to prove that that's actually true. So at this point in our, in our math knowledge, we have no way of figuring out the length of LU, the length of UV, or the length of LV. That's where the distance formula comes in. So as I said in the intro, the distance formula is something that we can use to find the length of a diagonal segment in a coordinate plane. And it's derived from the Pythagorean theorem. You may have heard of this before, a squared, plus b squared equals c squared. That's called the Pythagorean theorem. Basically, if a and b are the legs of a right triangle and c is the hypotenuse, you can use this formula to find any individual length. So think of the diagonal always as c. So really, to solve this equation and solve for c, we would have to take the square root of both sides. So to find our diagonal length c, that would be the square root of a squared plus b squared. In a coordinate plane, to find the lengths of these a and b sides, we have to do the difference of the coordinate. So in this case, b would be the difference of the x values. So how far are, is x1 from x2? How far is this distance? And a would be the distance of the y values. This will make a little more sense when we get into our first example on screen seven of the Desmos. So screen seven of your Desmos asks you to use the distance formula to find the length of this segment AB. So I'm gonna use this as our example of how this formula works. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna look at what are the actual coordinates of A and B. So zooming in here, it looks like the coordinates of A are at negative four and negative three. And you can use the sketch tool to add that to your Desmos slide. And the coordinates of B are at five, eight, six. Okay, so now that our coordinates are actually labeled, we can go in and apply the distance formula. So remember, the length that we're trying to find here is the length of this segment, this diagonal segment AB. So to find the length of AB, we're first going to set up this formula. AB is the square root of, and now we're gonna to go to our coordinates and actually plug in these numbers. So first we find the difference in the X's. So the X coordinate of A is negative four, and the X coordinate of B is eight. Close your parentheses, squared. To that, we're going to add the difference in the Y's. So the y coordinate of a was at negative three and the y coordinate at x was at six. Close your parentheses and squared. 
let's go ahead and do some simplifying now. So AB equals the square root of negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12 plus negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. Now, before we go on, I just want to show you how you can use your graph at this point to check your work. This right here, this number, negative 12, is the distance from x to x. Well, the absolute value is the distance from x to x. And this number here, negative 9, the absolute value of that would be 9, is your distance from y to y. So you can actually use this graph here to check those distances. What is the horizontal distance from A to B? That's actually a distance of 12. You can count it on your side. And what's the, or the vertical distance from A to B? That's a distance of 9. Again, you could count that on your side if you wanted to. So that's the connection between the formula and the graph is that when you take the difference of your x's and y's, you should be, it should match within the graph um, that you were given. So AB is the square root of, well, 12 squared, or negative 12 squared is 144, plus 9 squared is 81. AB equals the square root of, let's see, 144 plus 81 is 225. And what is the square root of 225? That's where if you were to plug it into this calculator here on your Desmos, it would show you. I happen to know that that length is 15 units. So we have now found that the length of this segment is 15 units using the distance formula. Let's take a look at another example. So the first thing again that we're going to do is identify the coordinates of A and B. So as I zoom in here, it looks like A is at the point negative 2, 2, and B is at the point 2, negative 2. And our goal here is to find this length a, B. Okay, so I'm going to set up my distance formula. A, B equals the square root of the difference in the X's. So negative 2 minus 2 squared plus the difference in the Y's. So that's 2 minus negative 2 squared. So A, B equals the square root of negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 squared. 2 minus negative 2 is 4 squared. So at this point, I would stop and just make sure that the values in my formula match the values in my graph. So is the distance between the x's four units? Yes, it is. And you can check on your graph if you'd like to. And is the distance between the y's also four units? Yes, it is. So at this point, I feel confident that my math is done correctly. Let's continue to simplify. Now you can use this calculator and type in the square root of 32, but you're going to end up with a decimal, five point something, something, something. So this is called an irrational length. And as we recall from our algebra, irrational numbers are actually values. They just aren't represented by a whole number or a, a fraction essentially. So for now, we're just going to leave this as the square root of 32, which we know is approximately 5 point something, something, something. And now we found the length of this diagonal. So now that we've had some time to practice in other examples, I want to revisit exploration three, which you started with at the beginning of this class. We wanted to know the measures of each segment length, LU, UV, and LV. But because these are on a diagonal, we couldn't do it at that time. But now that we have the distance formula, this is possible to do. So we're going to use the distance formula two times, because hopefully the third time we can use segment addition to find the remaining value. So I'm Starting with the coordinates of L and U. So it looks like the coordinates of L are at negative 6, negative 8, and the coordinates of U are at negative 3, negative 4. I'm just going to double check that. Negative 6, 
negative 8, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, so remember, we're trying to find the distance from L to U, and we're going to think about the Pythagorean theorem as we do it. So really, we're just applying that A squared plus B squared using the distance formula. So let's go ahead and set that up. So the length of LU equals the square root of the difference in the X's. So that's going to be negative 6 minus negative 3 squared plus the difference in my y's, the so negative eight minus negative four squared. Okay, let's start to simplify. So the length of r here equals the square root of negative six minus negative three is a negative three squared. Plus negative eight minus negative four is negative four squared. Now at this point, I'm going to pause and check the graph. Is the distance between the x's three units? Let's see, one, two, three, yes it is. And is the distance between the y's four units? Yes, it is. So, so far, so good. Let's continue to simplify. The length of r u is the square root of negative three squared is nine, plus negative four squared is 16. Continue on, r u equals the square root of 25. 25 is a rational root. As we recall from algebra, 25 has two square roots, positive five and negative five. But it's not possible to have a negative distance so in this case, we're just going to settle for the value of positive 5. So LU, in this case, has a length of 5 units. Now we can go in and find the length of UW, again, using the distance formula and checking with our graph. So we have the coordinates of U, but let's go in and find the coordinates of V. I think I said W before. I meant V. So it looks like V is at the point 6, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 6, 8. So those are the coordinates of point V. Let's set up our distance formula. Let's simplify. So UV is equal to the square root of negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9 squared plus negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12 squared. Pause. Let's check the graph and make sure that these values are accurate. So looking at this graph, it does appear that the distance between the x's is 9 and the distance between the y's is 12. So we know that our work is correct so far, and let's continue to simplify. The length of UV is negative 9 squared is 81, plus negative 12 squared is 145. UV equals the square root of 81 plus 144, 125. And we know from our previous example that the square root of 125 is 15 units. So we now know that the length of UV is 15 units. Now, to find the length of LV, it seems kind of silly to do all of that distance formula work when we have the segment addition postulate. If the length of LU is 5 units and the length of UV is 15, then that means the length of LV is 20 units. And if you wanted to, you could use the distance formula to check that work. So now you're going to continue working on some Desmos practice using the distance formula. And remember, when in doubt, you can always check your work and your calculations with the graph because the change in the x's, that difference, is your horizontal distance between points and the change in the y's is your vertical distance. That's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time.